Hello everyone. Welcome to Mifratech. So today in this section, I'm going to explain you how each individual component we have used in this underground cable for detection project is connected to our node MC microcontroller here. First, I'm going to show you how we are going to provide the power supply for this project. See, observe here. So here we, there are like two ways we can provide the power supply here. First, we can directly provide the power supply to this uh, node MC32 here. You can observe here, micro USB cable I have used. This you can connect to normal uh, mobile charger, adapter, or uh, PC or laptop, anything you can connect. So it is going to provide 5 volt supply here. So from this uh, 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 node MCU, we have two pins here that is V in and ground. So that V in will provide 5 volts DC supply and ground will provide the ground connection. So from that two pins, we are connected to power junction here. So from here, V in uh, 5 volts and uh, ground connection, we can provide power supply and ground connection to all the components used in this project. So this is one way of providing the power supply. So there is another way you can observe here. We have used a, a 12 volt step down trans transformer here. So this will directly connect to a uh, power supply. So 230 volts power supply so that it will provide here. So finally, whatever the output, the step down transformer will give 12 volt that will connect to a bridge rectifier. You can observe here. So after bridge rectifier, it is stored in capacitor and the same supply we connect it to DC to DC converter. So here there is a like uh, we can like set the whatever the in output or voltage we want from this DC to DC converter. So we have set it to 5 volt. So whatever 5 volts and ground connection this DC to DC converter will give that we again I have provided to a power junction here uh, 5 volts and ground supply. So this is another way of providing the power supply for this project here. So we are we in the output while showing the output I am going to show you in both the way also. So next I am going to show you how uh, this uh, 16 class 2 LCD I2C module is connected to node MC. Observe here, it has mainly 4 pins here, VCC ground, serial clock and serial data. VCC and ground are connected to normal here in the power junction. So next we have serial clock and serial data. So serial uh, clock pin of uh, this uh, yes, I2C model LCD display are connected to pin number D22 and serial data pin are connected to pin number D21 of this node MC32 here. So this is in order to interface uh, LCD module. So next I will show you how this buzzer will connect, uh, like how to connect this buzzer to node MCU. So observe here, buzzer has two pins mainly. One is uh, output pin, one more is ground. So the out ground we are connected to ground in the power junction. Next we have output pin that we are connected to uh, pin number D13 of this node MCU. So next we have a four channel relay here. So in this four channel, mainly we are using only th uh, three channel only. So one pin we are not connecting. So here observe that it has mainly four pins uh, for supply ground. After that one, two, three, four, four uh, pins. So here uh, five volts and ground we are connected as a for supply for this relay channel. Next we have uh, like relay one. Relay one we are connect to pin number D14 of this node MCU and relay two to uh, pin number D27 of this node MCU. Next we have relay 3 that we are connected to pin number D26 of this node MCU 32. So in this way I have connected this relay. The fourth pin of this relay we are not using in this project. So only three channel have connected here. So next here in this relay you can see here this relay have connected to next this uh, cable fault detection where this model we have made here using switch off. So how this is connected to relay observe here. Uh, here uh, this uh, as there are four channels here we are using only three channels so three nos will be there no1 no2 no3 so the, the uh, all three no three nos here no1 i connected to this red line you can see here so no2 to blue line no3 to uh, this yellow color line so this is in auto automatically turn on and turn off this uh, like automatic whenever this uh, switch to cable fault will occur in order to detect that we have used. So next we have a com pin this is in order to provide supply for this uh, this cable fault here. Uh, here uh, com of these three things we have shorted here for one uh, com we are after shorting one for one com we are providing the 5 volt supply from the power junction here. So this is in order to connect this junction to this uh, 4 channel relay here. So after that here you can see the switches here. Here there are mainly you can observe uh, 9 uh, on off switches is there. So here these switches will be uh, internally as connected to one register. Here in this you can observe here this one is the first one you can see here this is the red line. This one is the uh, blue line. The last one is the yellow line. So here like horizontally uh, what first of whatever the cable fault will occur here it will be at one kilometer in the second line it is at two kilometer and third line whichever the cable fault will occur it will be at the distance four kilometer so in this manner we have designed this one so next i will show you uh, 
like all the model uh, like all those things which are the supply uh, this supply things already i'll show you how this transformer is connected to this bridge rectifier also this capacitor to dc to dc converter from this dc to dc converter 5 volts again we are connected to power junction so these are the different components we have used and how it is uh, connected internally in this cable fault detection project so thank you for watching the video thank you